series between the West Indies and South Africa here at Jamie Hotter Open and Park. With us we do have Pamela Carson and Tipper Bubuma will follow in thereafter. Um, we will take questions online first before we go to the floor. So who would like to start us off uh, this evening? Great, Chantal, thank you very much. Thanks Lucy. How's it going? Very well played. Um, you, you, said on, you said on TV a couple of minutes ago that uh, yesterday at training everything was coming off either the inside or the outside of the back. So what did you do last night? Did you, go, did you sleep with your back? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, we just we just fixed a, a little technical thing yesterday after about 50 balls of inside edging and outside having balls and just try to stay nice and still and nice and calm especially my hands keep it nice and still and after that yesterday in the nets I've hit a couple of better balls almost if I can say that everything seems to hit the middle a little bit better and that confidence I took in today's camp. Very good innings. And um, Heine, can you just talk to us a little bit about kind of uh, you know how you were winning the ball there? I think it was 54 balls for, for 100, which is, which is very fast. Um, you know, what, what were you thinking in terms of clearing the rope and how were you approaching that innings? Because it, it looked like South Africa were in trouble at one point. Yeah, it's just one of those days where the first couple went into the gap. Um, the rest was quite simple for me, to be honest. Um, we're trying to play the conditions and not the situations and the conditions today were fantastic to bet on and I felt like I got a couple of loose deliveries that I capitalised on and that obviously set my tempo for the for the innings and I didn't have to take too many risks and I took maybe one or two but the good ball I could have respected there was no pressure on even when I got in to chase any sort of big run rate so when the conditions are good like that and you have to go at four and a half fives, um, you just need to bat through and just almost play each ball at, on its own merit and that's what I did today. Thanks. And then just in terms of what the coaches have been saying about you, you know, Shukri was so strong about wanting you in the tennis team, I know maybe it didn't go the way you wanted it to, but is, is there a new sense in terms of, of your role in the team and you being back to a little maybe more than before or is there any kind of change in the way you feel? Uh, not at all. I just think um, this is the first time that there's a little bit more consistency of me playing. Normally I also was back quite a bit, and, but I've always found myself playing one or one game or two games in the series and miss out one game. So this is the first time that I actually got a good, decent um, run in the team. Thanks, Kudo. Um, thank you, Lucy. Very well played, Bert, at the Classy. Um, uh, well, I've got a question in terms of um, what, what Rob Walter and the whole coaching staff say to you guys. Because um, looking at the way that you batted very aggressively there, and also looking at um, how Russell van der Dassen persisted with that pull shot, an aggressive option, um, and that got out Eddie Markham also, Bowman Drive outside the off stump, another positive option. Um, was that um, the message from Rob Walter and the coaching staff that you guys should take? Um, or explore positive options um, by all means necessary. Was, was it that message? Yeah, I think it depends what is a positive option on the day. For them, Aiden has hit a billion cover drops. Russ had a, has pulled a billion balls. So for them, it stays a great, great option. And a great option stays a great option, doesn't matter what people say outside in the world. Um, if they pulled it off, people would have clapped their hands. So, we're focusing on our, our, our brand of cricket and that's to play positive cricket. So if it's your options on the day and it comes off, great. If it's your, not your day but it's still your options, great as well. So we try to push for a certain brand of cricket and to let the players play their natural brand. And as long as it's in your options and your great options, um, the execution, we're human beings. So sometimes it will go your way, sometimes it won't. Thanks, Obama. Uh, we'll take uh, one from your hand. But I can see that is the last one online, and this is anyone else before we go to the floor. Thanks, Johan. One minute, Harry. Um, I just want to know how between the test series and that, did we have some time off rejoining the squad? And what do you do in this short time off? Yes, um, 
we had one day that we had a camp, so we all flew after the test to East London for camp, one day camp. Spoke about our brand of cricket and all our new philosophies that we want to do. And then I had about a couple of days or three, four days off before I came to Potch. So time feet feet um, feet up. Um, that's some things at home. So I was well, well, or much needed rest for me. We've been playing a lot of cricket over the last year and a half, and a lot of cricket to come still. So a lot of the guys got a little bit of a break, and we rejoined on I think it was Sunday at in in Potch. So yeah. Um, just uh, on the crowd today, um, playing a smaller venue here yeah, at the Jacob Marks Noble as opposed to Wanderers or New Orleans. How was that experience um, with the fans? And from what I saw, just walking around the stadium, they were pretty excited for cricket. Yeah, I think the whole country is excited for cricket. Um, but to be honest, Potch never disappoints when the pro has come come to play in Poch, it's always a good wicket to play on and the crowd is always fantastic here, it's normally full. We had a little bit of a worry last night when there wasn't fans at the rugby, so we thought everyone is on the, um, on holiday and a long weekend, but at 10 o'clock this morning there was a fair amount of people in, so it's nice to play in front of a full stadium, so at least 90% of the stadiums, and we encourage the fans to keep on coming and to support us. How difficult, how easy, difficult was it to walk the line of circumspection and aggression, considering that at times a chase of 260 can go either way if you're attacking and attacking and doesn't come off? Exactly, it's, it's a fine balance, but sometimes it will look great and sometimes it won't look great. But as like I said, we want to play a certain brand of cricket. Um, in difficult situations, you still want to encourage players to play that brand of cricket, and if it comes off, Brilliant if it doesn't come off. As long as it stays in your options and the right options, we can move on from there and learn from that. So there will be days that it's not going to go our ways, but as long as we stick to our game plan and the way we want to play cricket in our squad, we don't have issues with that. Uh, finally, from my side, when you look at how South Africa batted um, in the second ODI, yes, they lost the game, but they were ahead of the run rate. I think that was also the case in this particular game. How important, now that there are still three T20s against the West Indies before the significant matter of the Netherlands games, how important does it become to take this particular batting mentality forward into those two games that matter because it's also a significant matter of the net run rate that we come into the equation? Yeah, look, that's a little bit far for us at this moment. We're taking game by game. But you're right, we, that's why today we need to keep playing our brand of cricket. If we want to win a World Cup one day, the pressure situations, you have to play the game. So, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but the one thing that we know is that we're going to stick to our blueprint and the way we're going to play. And like I said, some days it's going to look great, some days it's not going to look great as long as we stick to our blueprint in the team we're happy. Talk about this brand, it doesn't have a name at the moment. No, those names are, in my personal opinion, overrated. It's been taken out of contents, but at this moment we're just playing a brand of cricket that we all like and ex um, are excited for, and hopefully we can nail or find, keep fine-tuning this, this brand of cricket. Thanks, Pinizel. Uh, we do have one last one from Pudos online. Pudos, if you still want to have a go? No, I'm not for this. Okay, no worries. That concludes our next class in the press conference. Uh, please hold on for 10. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Yeah, tell me. Yes. And yeah, take this one this way.